Spare the rod, spoil the child. You've guessed it. We are in Sleepy Hollow, New York, baby. And it is an October evening. Welcome, everybody, to the Candle Enthusiast. I am your host, Shane Carlson. And I am currently working on uh, a video here in Sleepy Hollow. Uh, and one of the performances uh, is, has already started for the evening. But there's going to be another one later tonight. That one I will be filming. Uh, I've been here for a few days working on this project, but I thought since I had a little pocket of time that I would do a live candle unboxing from Sleepy Hollow. You know, you don't always get to see these kinds of things. And uh, Laura is in the house. Laura, I feel like I haven't seen you in ages. Um, but welcome everybody to, like I said, Sleepy Hollow right here on the Hudson River. That's, that's the Hudson, baby. But what's even more important than that is right over here and then down there and this whole property where uh, we currently are is Washington Irving's estate. Who's Washington Irving? If you don't know, Washington Irving uh, was the author of uh, The Legend of Sleepy Hollow. And he lived here right in Sleepy Hollow. Uh, and that's where the performance is tonight. But I'm going to take you back uh, kind of backstage where uh, the, the, all the, the cast and the crew members uh, hang out uh, during, uh, you, know, uh, you know, before and after and in between performances. And we're going to do an unboxing. How does that sound? And then hopefully in a few days you'll see the video that I'm working on. So come with me backstage, if you will. It's gonna have much better lighting in here. Uh, I wanna make sure, uh, let me know if, uh, how the video, the audio looks. I am working not on cellular service, um, but I'm gonna do the best I can. Uh, Mr. Kevin, what's up, amigo? Uh, hey, buddy, nice to see you, nice to hear from you. I feel like I've been away from, well, I have been away for a long time. Uh, so here is the box. I brought it with me to Sleepy Hollow. Uh, this, if you're not familiar, uh, is a Washington-based, Washington State, not Washington Irving, Washington State-based candle company, small batch, handcrafted candles uh, by uh, made by my dear friend, Nikki Gessler, a uh, longtime loyal uh, a viewer and participant of the candle enthusiast and she sent me her brand new halloween collection um i hope i'm not wrong but i believe it's called the dark collection so let's open this up and see what's inside i hear a bunch of stuff in there uh i think there might be some bonuses but i have no idea what these candles are i haven't smelled any of these candles before so i am excited i love doing these these live sensory evaluation videos because this is as raw as it gets. You're seeing, you're truly seeing my initial reaction without any editing, uh, without me, um, you know, uh, having time to really dig deep and think about what I want to say. Like those are always great doing the edited videos, but I find that doing these, these live reaction videos, uh, you're getting a little bit more information for me. I'm just going to cut right through this beautiful ribbon. What a shame to do that. And I'm going to try to read your comments as much as I can. I'm working off of the iPhone here. It's a big box, Nikki. Sharp knife, too. Has anyone burned Washington wicks before? If you have, how was your experience? And it is pretty cold here in New York, but it is humid like you wouldn't believe. So excuse me for if I look a little bit sweaty. 
First thing I'm noticing, and this is not really kind of, it's not a surprise, Nikki always does this. She sends me a bag of coffee and I can't tell you how much I love it. Any of you guys don't know, I truly am a self-proclaimed coffee nerd. Uh, it takes me about 20 minutes every morning to make one cup of coffee, uh, but it's a true passion of mine. And this, what is this? We have nine bar espresso coffee roasters. This has got to be out of the Pacific North Pacific Northwest. It's actually Vancouver, Washington. Flagship blend medium roast. And I'm all about the medium roast. Um, uh, I cannot wait. I'm actually out of coffee too. So thank you so much for sending this coffee. I'm actually kind of <laughs> wishing I had coffee right now. I just simply did not have enough coffee today. What is going on here? Look at this. Is this a little pumpkin man? A little pumpkin man for Halloween? I, you know what? I'm a full grown man. I admit it. It's just the truth. Sometimes I feel like I'm still 16, but I love plush. Uh, uh, now I have a couple from Nikki. I have a, a Bigfoot and I have, he's pumpkin man. That's gonna be his name. Thank you so much for that. Does he squeak? <laughs> he does. Which, now I know why she sent it. This is for Elsa, my, my little Maltese. She's going to go nuts with that. All right. Now, the performance. I only have a limited time here. This, this whole room is going to be filled with cast members if I don't finish this quick. So we're going to move super fast. If anyone's new to this channel... Uh, or not quite sure what's going on. Sometimes they do travel videos. Sometimes I'm talking about candles. People are like, what's going on here? What the heck? Um, uh, this is the candle enthusiast, where, with candle enthusiast channel. I talk about uh, candles, go figure. But I also do travel videos. Uh, so, uh, But I am starting a third channel called Aromatic Adventures, which is going to be exclusive travel and tourism videos. They're really not so much travel videos as I, I would call them experience videos. I really want to create, uh, you know, ex have these epic experiences or maybe sometimes very small experiences, but I want it to be vicariously shared with you. Uh, so if anyone has seen my travel videos and is tuning in and being and like, what's going on? He's talking about candles. I just did two different, two different kinds of content, but I will have a new channel soon. So toxic waste, nuclear fusion. This is candy. I've seen this on Amazon. Um, and I got to try this, but I do, I know you guys are waiting for the candles and we're going to get to the can. Oh God. They're like warheads. This is not going to be a fast process. Get a little packages. Toxic waste. What would toxic waste nuclear fusion taste like? H hazardously sour candies. You guys ready for this? Complete loss of control of my facial. Oh my god. That's way more sour. Holy God. So much more sour than a Warhead candy. I'm kind of like, I got it tucked away in the corner of my mouth right now because keeping it on my tongue is nearly impossible. Whew. We're gonna have to break these out on another live show. Um, and Woo. I might have my brother on a live show soon and have him one of those. It's still sour. It's just right here. I'm going to have to slowly work on this thing. But what's really, you know, looking past the sour, and I love sour. I love tart. It tastes like Ecto Cooler. Remember Ecto Cooler? The little Ghostbusters Slimer High C beverage? I just swallowed it, and it's still sour. 
we have a little trick or treat bag of uh, looks like some goodies, um, some spiders in there, a little twist tie. You know, I love this stuff. You know, you know what this is like getting boxes like this? It's like a, a subscription box. You know, when you get like, you know, I don't know if you have a coffee subscription box, a chocolate sub subscription box. Oh wow, there's a lot of candy Enough to do another video on all of these because these are not even a part of the Halloween collection. Oh, and look at these little cups. These are, I mean, saying just uh, wax melts, right? I mean, you can pop these in a, a little crock pot. You can put this in your tart warmers. Um, you know, uh, limitless ways to use these. How do you use uh, tart or wax melts, tart, tart melts? or candles that break. Do you have a specific way that you melt them and burn them? A death by chocolate, midnight stroll, monster drool, monster drool. I love, love Nikki's got one called frog snot and it's despite the name being a little bit, you know, no, let's face it, it's gross. It is one of the most delicious smelling pistachio vanilla uh, can uh, candles uh, or just scented wax or smell and pumpkin chai um, very cool I'm gonna like I said uh, so I will maybe could do this in two parts tricks or treats uh, is the other one I almost missed that so we have five of these I'm really liking these cups they're stackable they don't take up a lot of shelf space and they come in this little trick-or-treat bag. Let's keep this going. A box. Nothing in it, but that is to protect the glass of what is inside. This is so cool. It's like Christmas in Halloween. Looks like we have some form of votive holder here. And that's precisely what that is. Look at that. Right off the bat, uh, I'll tell you what this, something like this reminds me of. This reminds me of uh, a little uh, Halloween glass. It wasn't a jack-o'-lantern. I can't remember what was on it, but it was a glass that I had when I was a kid that I'd use all year round, and I would drink orange juice out of it. Um, and I think the reason why it's making me think of that is because it's retro, is it not? It has that... You know, uh, for me, retro is, you know, uh, 80s, 80s and uh, early 90s. Uh, it has that old Halloween fun, nostalgic feel. I love it. But this is a votive holder. It's not for... I guess you could put orange juice in here. This is about how much orange juice I would have. I can't drink a lot of or consume a lot of sugar. Um, that's cool. Think about the, the, the illumination from within when you have a candle burning here. Okay, so Halloween candle. I'll put that there. We have another Halloween candle. I'll put that there. I just want to open up everything that isn't a part of the dark collection. Wow, that is a surprise. It was... The Boogeyman. So this is a great point for me to promote one of my videos from last year. year under 78 uh, cinematic classic, if you ask me, Halloween. You know, the original Michael Myers film. And um, I, I, I evaluated this fragrance, but it looks like we have a completely different label that's gorgeous. Also, the, the jar, it's, it's really nice, this tumbler. I don't know if you can get a good read on that, but that is like a, like a, uh, you know, a flat black glass um, with, yeah, that's a wooden lid with, I wonder if she's changed this at all. That is, that is a delicious, delicious thing. It was the boogeyman. Um, so... I will be talking about this in the future, but right off the bat, um, delicious pumpkin spice, 
but here's the key pumpkin we're getting the gourd experience as well but you know if you you know to be a little bit more specific forget about the the straight up pumpkin spice this has like a pumpkin spice donut um aroma to it it smells like the freshly made apple cider donuts right right off the conveyor belt um it's a really warm ooey i always remember maybe even thinner and because they're so hot they're so aromatic um so definitely yeah i'm liking that that coffee cake crumble i don't even know if I should say pumpkin spice, I mean, there's pumpkin, there's spices in there that we would experience in pumpkin spice, but I don't want to throw you guys off course. I don't know the availability of that candle. Uh, so make sure you check out Washington Mix on their Etsy page. I will uh, link that up in the description below. Oh yeah, it's coffee time. Cam Cambridge Bamboo Sippy Cup. I lost you guys. Back. I think we're back. Uh, it's the game you always play when you're doing these lives on location. Um, I really want to get to these candles, but this is super cool. It is a reusable coffee mug. Halloween uh, coffee mug. Um... 20 fluid ounces, which is plenty of space for me. Uh, I don't, you know, I try to keep it under 16 ounces. Uh, this is really nice. Nikki, I mean, just uh, hope just because I'm moving fast, it doesn't look like I am not incredibly uh, thankful and grateful for these gifts. Thank you so much. Uh, we're going to be doing a Smell It Monday tomorrow, uh, hopefully. Uh, so uh, I will go over all of this stuff again or not again but i will talk about them more what on earth jamie lee curtis that is jamie lee curtis um lori's revenge so this is a new candle i'm assuming right um for her michael myers i put him in quotes but M michael myers halloween collection um Lori's Revenge. So I'm, I'm guessing this is based on the most recent installment of the Halloween franchise. Micro Batch Soy Candles. Beautiful tumblers. I'm really digging this. Uh, can you see that? The hard wood top. I don't know if it's hard wood, but it, um, I mean, it could be a, a soft wood. <laughs> but uh, what, what I mean by hard wood is that it's, it's very sturdy. It's not flimsy uh, and it doesn't feel cheap. And you see that? I love the gasket. I can't, I need a lid and I need that nice, you know, tight fit because I don't necessarily burn my candles at a fast pace. Okay. No idea. No idea. This, I knew there was something liquid. I could hear it in the box. Does anyone know what this is yet before I read it? This is a glass skull filled with, I don't know, so hot it's scary. Hot, this is hot sauce. I don't know why I said that so dramatically, but that is a lot of hot sauce. That will last, that, this is a large, you know, you usually get like what? less than six ounces in a bottle. I thought, there's a good thing I read the label because I thought this would be like some kind of beverage and I was going to take a sip. Holy mo- That is really, really cool, Nikki. Thank you so much. That is a perfect reason for me to revisit everything in this box because I will taste that hot sauce and I'll taste more. We'll do something fun with those sour candies. Um... And I'll get to do a little taste test of that hot sauce. We have Nikki's card here, postcard with a little note. Shane, here's a box of Halloween goodies. I know you're not a big fan of wax melts. 
eh, it's not that I'm not a fan. I just don't really use them, but I will use You can never have too many Halloween things. That is the truth. Uh, that is true. Thank you for your continued support. It means so much to me. I hope you have a frightfully fun Halloween. Again, Nikki. Nikki, uh, it's absolutely my pleasure to, 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 to uh, share the positivity, share the love of what you're doing. Uh, from day one, I could tell how passionate you were. But let us smell, I guess it's gonna be these two candles right here. Um, and then we'll save all of the other goodies for another live stream. We have Transylvania. Can we see that? Um, it's hard for me to even see. Okay, the frame. Transylvania. We have this beautiful, uh, looks like oil on canvas. I could be wrong. I know Nikki works uh, uh, with an artist to create these labels, but there's such a, such a specific style to these labels, and I love all of them. Uh, there's another one called uh, Scarecrow and uh, Haunted Hearse, and uh, each label is equally beautiful. So Transylvania, a Bram Stoker perhaps inspired candle, and then we have Haunted Hollow with this very eerie creature, you know, this, this very dark silhouetted creature as if, you know, it's being, uh, uh, you know, it's, it's morphing from roots, vines, branches, and other dark things from the forest. It's all coming together to create this eerie, very eerie uh, figure in the woods. Let me just tell you right now, if, I, I, don't, I don't scare easily. But if I was walking in a dark forest in the middle of the night and I saw that... I would not be cool with that. You know, I would not like say, okay, let me take my camera out and take a picture. I would be gone in a flash. Leslie Petty Bridge, thank you so much for the linking, uh, linking uh, Washington Wicks up for me. I really appreciate that. Um, so let's give this a sniff. Um, uh, I really, I have no fragrance notes. I haven't smelled these before. I'm gonna do the best I can, guys. But sometimes it takes me a long time to get good reads of these candles. Plus, I'm working against the clock here. And Nikki is in the house. Nikki. <sighs> okay. Let me just build up a few things in my mind. So... This, uh, when I say that I'm going to share my impressions, it's not just about talking about the fragrance notes. Something that I've noticed about Washington Wicks is that when you smell the candle, you know, sometimes you smell candles and your mind goes to, okay, I smell this, I smell that, I smell this, I smell this. And then sometimes you smell candles and it's more of that is an experience. And you start thinking more about the experience than the ingredients inside of it. And that is what happens with Washington and Wicks, at least on several occasions. Um, uh, the, the wonderful gargoyle candle, I'm forgetting the name of it last year. I didn't even want to, when I smelled that candle, I didn't even want to think about what the ingredients were because it, it really truly brought me to what was on the label. But for the sake of uh, some, uh, 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 smell of vision some communication between um, both of us I'm loving this man this smells like robust wood chips uh, of of a very fragrant nature um, you know I've said things like hickory chips before on things like witch's cauldron from uh, Kringle candle and um, village candles uh, forbidden forest and I don't necessarily want to, th I don't think it's m a hickory thing. It's, it's, it has more of that old cabin in the woods, cedar wood uh, aroma to it. Uh, but it definitely, it's mulchy, you know? Um, it's not wet, it's not necessarily overly smoky. But it has that raw 
fresh cut, fresh split out of the, the wood chipper feel. But, you know, um, easily when I smell this candle, it immediately sets the stage, sets the tone for being in a forest. Because the first thing we think of the, when we were in the forest are the leaves, the wood, the bark, the things that are beneath our feet. At least I do. And with that said, should I go with sandalwood? Um, you know, uh, I feel like there's a combination of wood notes happening here. Um, and the reason, I'm not sure if it's sandalwood, but the reason why I would say sandalwood is because, although I said cedar, there is a pine effect here. Pine in the sense of not necessarily, not the wood, but also, um, the needles, um, the dried needles. And, you know, um, what's the difference between the smell of pine needles and the actual wood of a pine tree? Well, uh, to me, it's it's always that bright herbal, uh, uh, those notes, those qualities, but there's some citrus notes to pine. I'm back. I'm back. I'm sorry. I lost you guys again. But what I was going to say is rosemary, fresh rosemary, fry, um, you know, a shallow fry or pan fry, whatever you do with your home fries, French fries, get some garlic and oil going. And then uh, at the later stage of the process, throw in some fresh chopped up uh, 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 rosemary in the, that dish. There's a savory a uh, pine or coniferous tree aroma to rosemary. It's one of my favorite herbs, but without a question, the smell of rosemary uh, brings me outdoors. And I don't want to say this is smoky, um, but it's gonna, I would say for most, I would say, I, I think it's safe to say for most of us, it's, it's gonna provoke the idea uh, that there's a fire somewhere, uh, whether it's a chimney, whether it's a fire, campfire in the woods, um, or just, you know, you see that fog, just imagine that's just kind of like smoke uh, uh, drifting from some dark farm uh, land, you know, whether it be the wood stove smell um, or, uh, like I said, that, that campfire. Um, this could be... Uh, um, I really want to nail it. I really want to nail it. But um, I don't think I'm going to get there. Um, I apologize. Um, um, I'm going to feel the setting it's putting me is really what I see on the dark forest. And because I smell the cedar, not only do I feel like I'm in the forest, but I feel like there's a cabin involved. And although, again, I don't think this is necessarily a smoky candle, there's a muskiness. There is some form of musk. Uh, I think, I'm, I'm pretty sure it could just be that sandalwood, if it is even sandalwood. Um, but uh, it's bringing me inside that cabin in the woods. And there's that fire, that crackling fire. Uh, if you've seen the horror film... Um, uh, the pumpkin head, uh, when uh, the main character uh, visits the witch in her, that cabin, and she's like, oh, Mr. Hartley, you know that scene? You know, it's just, it, it, it looks like a witch's shack, and um, that is what this is doing to me, and it's so, it's so appropriate. So I feel like I'm by a fire. I feel like I am by a very creepy... Um, uh, and, and, and quite a mystical forest, but also inside this shack of a witch who's not doing good things. It's not, she's not one of those friendly witches. We like friendly witches, but whew, this witch, out of control. So Haunted Hollow, just as spooky, if not spookier than the label on this candle. And I will 
I've said this like 15 times, but I'm going to have to revisit everything in this box at a later time. Uh, this is the Transylvania candle. On there, we have, you know, um, a very, the very uh, unconventional, not unconventional, but not the conventional uh, Dracula. Um, Prince of Darkness that we usually see. This is not Bela Lugosi. This is that that very cloak, cloaked vampire standing out front of his uh, his uh, very foreboding castle with that moonlight in the back, and even two wolves who are probably also vampires. But what would Transylvania smell like to you? or Dracula's castle. Well, let's see what it smells like, according to Washington Wicks. Oh, yeah. There is a black licorice thing happening right away, but it is definitely in the mix of a bunch of other things. Joseph with a $2.99 super chat. Thank you so much, buddy. I really appreciate that. Um... There's an elegance to uh, balanced with that that is not like candy black licorice, licorice root. If you don't know what that is, uh, uh, because licorice has been used for thousands of years for many different reasons, but mainly for medicinal purposes. So I, you know, something like the smell of uh, licorice root essential oil uh, probably would be something that you would smell in a very ancient old castle. And it definitely brings me there um, uh, in my third eye. There is a, a bright fruity note, uh, like maybe not, I shouldn't say bright, but there is a, a, a juicy fruity note. But again, this is not a sweet candle. You know how wines, uh, red wine can be very fruity, juicy, sometimes even jammy but not sweet. There's no sugar uh, in, in many red wines. There's plenty of sugar in some red wines, but historically, no sugar in red wine, uh, but they're still very fruity. So again, um, I want to make that clear. Not sweet, but there is a black fruit. You know, Cabernet Sauvignon fans, if you like your Napa Cab's uh, red wine, and what's great about that is that Dracula's Castle has to have wine, but we all know Dracula does not drink wine. And what that does is that mixture of the fruit and the licorice, I hope I'm not wrong about the fruit, um, but I think it's th this black fruit that, it, it's it's creating this mixture of like an herbal, uh, like after dinner drink, Amaro, if you've ever had that. Um, and, um, you know, I, you know, I'm thinking in terms of beverages here, and this makes sense, right? Because if this smelled like blood, right? If this candle smelled like blood, I'm sure there's candles that smell like blood, like iron rich blood. That really wouldn't be pleasant to our nose, our noses probably. But you would ha you have to imagine what what is the deliciousness factor for Dracula or any vampire when they smell blood? You know, when they smell blood, you you know how vampires react. Their their senses are heightened, their eyes open. There has to be a deliciousness factor, this euphoric uh, aroma to blood when they smell it, and. Although this doesn't smell like blood, this smells like a very exotic beverage, a cocktail that you would get at a really nice restaurant. Um, or if you had dinner at Dracula's Castle, a very uh, 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 well-made, crafted, cordial, liqueur cocktail. Um, and um, so that to me is delicious. Blood is not. Do you see the core, the, the, the point I'm trying to make? We don't want to smell blood. I want to smell something delicious. But with Dracula, when he smells blood, he's thinking that's delicious. 
but it does definitely put me in the mindset of something to drink. This is a, a beautiful, like, after dinner, evening candle. You know, really, uh, when that sun goes down in the fall, uh, something you might want to burn. And this is really elegant. This is a way of adding elegance to home fragrance without just the typical flower citrus things going on and uh, a lot of uh, very popular candles. This is going to give you that Victorian furniture, Victorian house feel, the castle, all the plush furniture. You know, I think of a chamber in, um, um, you know, in like uh, something like a castle, and you think about all oh, the furniture, the, the 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 really old antique furniture that would be inside. And uh, I'm definitely getting some resinous notes here, and I'm, there's no way I'm going to be able to figure this out, but I I I I feel where this is going. This has that mystical, mythical, new age, um, um. Uh, witchcraft, if we want to go there, um, you know, uh, I say this all the, all the time, but like when you walk into those shops, those spiritual shops or places, um, you know, where you find like these amazing resin based candles or, 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 you know, herbs that they, they, they harvest and sell raw or essential oils that they distill. This has that magic shop, that spiritual shop smell. You know, it's almost like I can see the the wind chimes and the 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 the, the dream catchers and the, the the beautiful scarves and draperies and carpets everywhere. And I want to I want to get I I really didn't give many notes at all, but. Instead of being kind of like hard on myself for that, I kind of like that. You know, th these are candles that if I really wanted to make literal, legit notes on them, um, I probably would need more time and not be live. Um, but with all of that said, uh, I think the beauty of candles like this is that, as I said before, it's not the, the ingredients um, that you focus on when you smell, you smell these. It's where these candles take you. And with beautiful labels like this, you have a huge launch pad, a, a jumping board for where to start. This is how s candles can be stories. So although I would love to list a hundred different things that I'm smelling on these candles, then I need to spend a little bit more time with them to analyze them and to make sure that I'm not giving it faulty information. But if you are an atmospheric kind of candle, you, you expect your candles to take you places uh, and, and fun places uh, like Transylvania for Halloween or Haunted Hollow, a dark forest for Halloween, or if you're a John Carpenter fan, uh, those the Halloween collection. This is a candle company you really need to uh, pay attention to. Um, small batch, a micro batch. We're talking about a one woman show. And uh, this is where my heart is. Uh, I love, you know how I love Yankee Candle. You know how I love the big candle companies. It's what I grew up with. It's what I, I knew for many years. But the pleasure of becoming the candle enthusiast has been finding candles like the, these companies like which, uh, 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 Washington Wicks. And um, uh, discovering this whole world of how candles can push the limits of this, the, the aromatic art form of home fragrance and storytelling. So a huge loving thank you to Washington Wicks. I will be... Uh, she's uh, uh, Nikki right now saying Harry Potter would be awesome to do. How cool would that be? Please. Uh, uh, that would be something to consider. Uh, I would I'd, I'd love to smell a Harry Potter collection. Uh, um, so uh, please make sure, I think if you take anything from this video, make sure you at least swing over to uh, Nikki's Etsy page, uh, but just follow her on Instagram. You know, make sure you're paying attention, that you're being notified of these, you know, products like these. Um, 
And um, so do that. Uh, follow her on Instagram uh, and her other social media platforms. Um, and um, expect more content from what is in this box very soon. The show outside is coming to a close. So I need to wrap things up here. Uh, but thank you so much for joining me on this completely spontaneous Sunday uh, live video. I didn't think I was going to be able to do it. I actually posted a video on Facebook, the Facebook fan group, or the Facebook candle enthusiast fan group, whatever we want to call it, uh, the candle enthusiast group. Uh, I posted that. Uh, so make sure uh, you swing over and um, and uh, got the cast behind me. I, I got to wrap this up, guys. But thanks so much. I will be talking to you soon. Have a good oh, I gotta one. Get water. Can I take uh, my necklace? Yes. Oh, yes. Oh, cool. Sorry, guys.